everybody, it's Teresa with ReStixin.com and today I've got another ornament for our cozy Christmas tree. This one is this adorable little knit hat that's not knit. <laughs> it's just made out of yarn, so it's so simple. Any kid can make it. It'd be great for a little craft party this time of year, sometime when it's too cold to go outside. Your kids will love making this. So this is a pretty traditional ornament. It's been around forever. You might as have even made it when you were a kid. And it's just yarn that's wrapped around a tube. Typically it's toilet paper tube. It's a great way to uh, recycle something that you're not gonna use again. Um, but I wanted to make it a little more elegant, a little more upscale and go bigger. So what I did is I got a mailing tube and you can find these at Walmart or office supply stores. They're really easy to find. And what I did was cut it into rounds. So here's how to get a really easy measurement for a circle. This is a piece of ribbon that's, what is this? Maybe three inches, two and a half inches. Um, and I cut that and taped it to make it a circle. And then I just had to put this on my tube I probably taped this on the tube knowing me there we go that's easier there we go and then you can just use your sharpie and trace around the edge of that ribbon so that's just a really simple way to get a measurement so that you can have nice straight lines and then to cut this apart you can use an exacto knife um, but it's pretty thick cardboard, so what I actually found worked best was a carving knife, like you use at Thanksgiving, one of those electric knives. So I cut myself up a whole bunch, and this is what I was left with. So then I pulled out my yarn, and I cut this, I mean, you know how I am with my measurements, I'm super scientific, but that's about three feet. And all I did was just cut enough so that when it was doubled over, it would be twice the size of this and then leave me lots for the hat part and the pom-pom. So I just kind of picked a number at whim. So, okay, double this over like that and then tuck your loop down through the center of your tube, pull it back up to the top, pull your loose ends through, and pull to tighten. That's all you need to be able to do. See, it, your kids will totally love doing this. So I'm gonna do this over and over and over again until I get all the way around and I have all of these little loops uh, packed in tight. All right, so here we go. I've got all my loops all the way around. They're laying nice and tight together. And now I'm going to grab all of these tail ends and I'll give it a little twist just because it's just for management's sake. And then push it all the way through the top. Okay, shake that loose. And now, I'm gonna pull that so that all of the little knots that are left when I pulled my threads tight, well, I'm gonna push those towards the inside and pull them tight underneath. I'm kind of going through and being a bit of a perfectionist. <laughs> so if there's any little loose spots, you just give that a tug Just clean it right up. Okay, so with that part done, here's what our hat will look like. So all I'm gonna do now is take a piece of fishing line and tie that around my threads and I want it to be tall enough that it'll look like a hat but not so tall that I won't have plenty of room to make all this fringe into a cute little pom-pom. 
So a few inches, just kind of pulling all of my thread straight here. And then I'll just tie that into a knot. There we go. And now with this extra, I can tie this into a knot to make my hanger. So I'm gonna, I know it's fishing lines, so you probably can't see it, but I've got two pieces here and I'm cutting it just a few inches above my ornament and then I'm gonna tie a knot in itself to get to make those two pieces into one loop. There we go. Okay, so now I've got a hanger. Now I just need to trim all this stuff up to make it a cute little pom-pom instead of just loose <laughs> threads. So, and even though it's all the same length, I'm giving it just a little bit of shape by cutting it fairly low and cutting the stuff that's in the back um, a little bit shorter so that it kind of gives it a rounded look even though it's all kind of the same level. But just like when we were making our pom-poms, there comes a point where you just have to let it go because you could obsess about this forever. Okay, that's it. I'm letting it go. <laughs> and there is my sweet little hat. I think it is just the cutest thing and so simple. I mean, how long did that take me? 10 minutes? The longest part of this whole process is just cutting the pieces of yarn to make your little cap. I think this is something that your kids will love making and really take a lot of pride in because they made it themselves. This would make a great gift for a teacher and it, because it's something that is handmade by your child but actually looks cute. <laughs> actually looks cute enough to display. <laughs> so I hope that this was inspiring and it will inspire you to make a little something festive to celebrate your holiday with. And uh, be sure and leave me any comments if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my big crafting ideas and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.